गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इंडियन ओशन रीजन इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन एंड वेरियस मिलिट्री बेसिस विच आर डेवलप्ड इन दिस रीजन नाउ वॉट इज द कंसर्न ऑफ इंडियन ओशन रीजन फॉर इंडिया एंड इट्स मेरा टाइम इंटरेस्ट नाउ इंडिया इज अमोंग द लिस्ट ऑफ टॉप टेन इकोनॉमिक्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड दो पावरफुल economics are built on the backdrop of global maritime trade we have a coast coastline of around 7500 km and the coastal states and their economic significance we have such as like in india we have the major coastal states such as kerala we have tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha बेंगाल वी है महाराष्ट्र गुजरात सो दिस आर ऑल द मेजर एंड बिग साइज स्टेट एंड दे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अलॉट टू द इंडिया मैरेटाइम एंड इकोनॉमिक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन आर सिग्निफिकेंट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव अ मेजर पोर्ट इन दिस रीजन वी हैव विशाखापट्टनम पोर्ट एंड then we have a uh, chennai port cochin ports various ports in this uh, maharashtra in gujarat so these ports are also a uh, very important for the trade of india and india is located at a strategic point in the world uh, shipping route and india's maritime transport handles around 70% of india's trade in the value now india is ranked as the seventh largest navy in the world uh, apart from this the the indian ocean region in indian ocean region the 70% of uh, 75% of world's maritime trade is passing through this region and then we have 50% of daily global oil transport transfers which happens to this region and then 80% of world's maritime oil trade passes through indian ocean region now indian ocean region has emerged as a critical conduct for trade commerce and energy now the water of indian ocean region has became a home for development and dispute conflicts and competition for regional influence by major regional and extra regional powers all the major powers such as united state australia japan uk india china have sought a step in the security of indian ocean region Now, during the Cold War, the Soviet tried to have direct access to Indian Ocean region. Now, China is looking for the same. So, Indian Ocean remains a pivot between the world's busiest trade routes. Now, geo strategically. the indian ocean region is very important because it lies in the crossroads of africa asia and australia now there are we role in this region role in this region role in this region this region now we have a vital sea land with choke points such as strait of hormuz we have strait of malacca babal mandap and so forth they are of immense strategic importance and have a huge volume of trade which pass through them now these choke points are exposed to piracy international disputes political dissents and accidents towards of this such threat and to gain and maintain a strong foothold in this uh, resource rich region the glo regional and external powers try to flex their muscle and dominate 
now this uh, there are various islands nation in this regions which plays a significant role in shaping the security of indian ocean region now these islands play a vital role along the sea lines of communication by giving access to navies to continue for their continuous and thus allow them to patrol the sea line of communication during the time of peace and war now it act as an intersection for transport of oil from middle east this is the reason the external powers are trying to strengthen their foothold in making it a reason for them to showcase their vigor and potentiality now when talking about geostrategic importance the security dynamics in indian ocean regions plays a equally pivotal role in the view of same the partial gulf in arabian sea north indian ocean also plays a equally important role for the sea security perspective of india now the main aim of india in this region is to protect the sea line of communication which are laden with piracy threats in horn horn of africa and the red sea of indian ocean strategic location Now, Indian Navy has various warships which are deployed in Gulf of Oman and Persian Gulf. It's all Persian Gulf. Thus, we provide a safe passage for Indian fleeted vehicles, vessels which are operating in the. now india also has set up the ifc information fusion center which we have discussed in our earlier video lecture to keep a close vigil on the movement of ship in this region thus the ifc ior engages with partner nations to develop comprehensive maritime domain awareness and share information on vessels of interest now we will have a glimpse about the military bases of various countries in this region now first of all if we look into the presence of india then we can see that india has a significant presence in this region we have our uh, offshore trading offshore military bases which are in other countries in seychelles we have in madagascar this lies in the african region then we have more in mauriti mauritius apart from this we have indian bases in kochi in kerala then we have karwar then we have mumbai uh, in eastern region we have vizag we have also ports in chittagong in bangladesh we have presence in myanmar then this is andaman and nicobar port blair island now in since recent years the china is trying to build a exclusive extensive infrastructure in this region they have their presence from jabauti to myanmar they have such wide spectrum and also there is a theory which says that the china is trying to counter india or to fence india by by building ports around it by fencing it so india has uh, china has built various ports in myanmar in chikong in bangladesh then it has presence in sri lanka in maldives then it has gwadar port it has oman it has jabati then in africa it has kenya and tanzania bases and also seychelles 
now this is string of pulse include both the the maritime silk route and also the military basis of china maritime silk route plus military basis of china so this Mal maldives is not a military base but it is under a the it is the part of maritime silk route of china now apart from this uh, united state has its bases from hawaii to guam to oki nawa and Dia diego garcia to jabauti so first of all I'll look into guam guam is a island territory of united state which is present in micronesia micronesia is a term used to denote the various uh, small island nations in this region of pacific region then we have u.s military base in okinawa which is in japan then also it has a military base in hawaii which is the, its own state of united state which lies in pacific region now japan has its bases built in jabauti jabauti is a country in Africa. Uh, Australia is also a major uh, military navy power in this region. Now it has outpost at Cocos and Christmas Island. Now it also undertakes surveillance operation from the Butterworth base in Malaysia. And also it has operational operationalizing facilities in Manus Island of Papua New Guinea. So first of all look at look at Buttersworth Island. So this is Malaysia and in this region the west lies the Buttersworth Island. If we zoom in then we can see this is Buttersworth Island. Now it has Cocos Island in north west offshore of Australia. Then it has operationalizing facilities in Papua New Guinea, which lies in north of Australia. Now France is a major military power of the world and it has its basis in reunion island which is own territory of france apart from this it has presence in new caledonia in this new caledonia lies in the northwest region of northeast region of australia Uh, Britain has Dio, has its presence in Diego Garcia. Uh, Diego Garcia, as we saw, it lies at the southern point of India. This is India, and if we go straight to the south, then we will find Diego Garcia. Now India is also building its port in Chabahar in Iran, in Chitgaon in Bangladesh, Colombo in Sri Lanka and Sitwe in Myanmar. Now India is also in agreement with the Japan to access its facility in Jabauti. And India is also building a military base at North Agalega Island in Mauritius. Mauritius lies in the African 
कोस्टल रीजन इन इंडियन ओशन पार्ट सो डेट्स इट फॉर टुमारो